Okay. Chicago Institute. Actually, let, let's let's look at Milton Freeman. How about that? <sighs> let's uh, let's try to let's try to remember precisely um, what Milton Friedman said. Oh, also, I don't know if I have. Um, actually, let's let's actually just take a second and do this, shall we? Um, there we go. Wait, Investopedia. Why am I here? <laughs> We're going wiki warrior on this. We don't need we don't need any of this other stuff. All right. Um let's take a look at this. Um theory of consumption. I sorry, I, I just can never remember which one said which uh between Friedman and Keynes. Um The thought income consists of several components, transitory and permanent, and so the formula, calculate the permanent transient, blah, blah, blah. Wait, so what specifically are you asking? What's the, uh, what's the particular ideology that you're referring to here, Hotfish? <laughs> okay, just overall is built in Friedman based or fringe. Okay, that's fine. Um, uh, let's let's see. Oh right. Okay. Always and everywhere monetary phenomena in terms of academic legacy. Um, so here's in terms of academic legacy. Okay. Um, let me let me check something really quick. I have to. Uh, yeah, okay, so I think this is, I mean, this is kind of, this is going to sound like I'm avoiding the question, but I'm not. Um, the Phillips curve is, and the, and the, the natural rate of unemployment, these things are actually really useful. Um, and whether or not they're precise or accurate, um, I mean, so the natural rate of unemployment, that's, that's like, that's a super important concept. Um, so, uh, I mean, so the, oh yeah, his critique over the Phillips curve. Yeah. Okay. Wait, how did, I actually want to see how he critiqued the Phillips curve because that, um, is there, am I going to be able to find this? Um, uh, the Phillips curve. Components of the Phillips curve, so unions, blah, blah, blah. What is this? Where are we? Uh, sure. Let's try this. Friedman argued the economy would always return to its natural rate of unemployment. Wait, how? Okay, this is this is wrong, because I don't think I don't think the idea of a Phillips curve actually disagrees with the natural rate of unemployment. The main criticism of the Phillips curve is that the negative relationship between the unemployment and inflation is the short run phenomenon. In the long run, such a trade-off disappears. Yes, 
so this is this is what we <laughs> now okay this is this is true um but uh, this is literally what we're doing right now uh because i haven't i haven't done phillips curves in a while um however so what we're sorry i lost my train of thought what we're, what we're looking at is um the idea that there were okay uh, up until like in modern economics you'll be taught all of these things you'll be taught the natural rate of unemployment you'll be taught taught phillips curves um basically yeah okay it, the the explain like i'm five is that um there is believed we believe currently that there is a long-term natural rate of unemployment um, so there's a there's a percentage of the population that will that will be unemployed and that's and the reason that that exists is um, for essentially market liquidity uh, in terms of the job market right so we want we want jobs to move around and have turnover at some rate um, so the natural rate of unemployment guarantees that essentially um, well, actually, any any amount of unemployment guarantees that. If you have no unemployment, then that's actually not good because your economy is kind of stuck. Um, if you need to create jobs, you don't have the people to do so. That isn't to say that we can't take care of people who are unemployed. Um, that has nothing to do with it. Um, the Phillips curve is a relationship between the inflation rate and unemployment. Um, and this is something... Yeah, job's bad. Um, this is something that is a short run model. We only use the Phillips curve in the short run. So it used to be that people believed that the, or the when we came up with the Phillips curve, we thought, hmm, this works all the time. There's a negative, uh, there's a negative correlation between um, uh, the, be between inflation and uh, the unemployment rate. Um, so, you know, obviously as inflation goes up and employment rate goes down, et cetera, et cetera. Okay. Um, however, this is, this is much more of a short run model. What that means is, um, you have, you have some Phillips curve for a particular time and that shows the, the relationship between, um, uh, unemployment and inflation. And then there might be like a shock to the economy um, in which, okay, yeah, great idea. We're, we're, we're a paint streamer now. Um, okay. Okie dokie. Uh, man, it's been so long since I've done macroeconomics. Um, okay, I'll, I'll do it, I'll do it so suspiciously and I'm gonna okay so this is uh, the unemployment rate and this will be um, inflation which is called I which is these are very suspicious things um, Phillips curves look like this oh did I not ah, I thought I turned on oh, my bad here you go okay yeah, so this is the unemployment rate, right? This is the inflation rate. Uh, these are both positive directions. Um, so we've got this, you know, positive here, positive here. Okay, this is their, this is our Phillips curve, and I'm going to call this PC one. This is in the initial state of things. Um, there's some relationship between unemployment and inflation, right? Um, oh. I'm going to I'm going to get kind of I'm going to get kind of dunked on macroeconomics here for a second. But let's say some shock happens to the economy. What'll happen is this Phillips curve will move in one of these directions depending on what the shock is. Um, and if you want to hit me with what is a shock? Um, yeah, no. Uh, it's more like I don't know, like price of oil, right? If price of oil goes up, your your you know production side 
you get supply side shocks and then I believe your Phillips curve moves out um, but I can't remember that so don't quote me on that but essentially the idea is that um, this happens so this is a good short run model and the reason that it's good in the short run is because it accounts very well for shocks like this right so if I just say like if this is like an oil price increase or something like I think V bucks great a lot yeah okay um, so this is a good short run model because it accounts very well for these types of shocks the reason that it's a bad long run model is in the long run everything will come back so over time um, over time this curve is going to shift back to this original one and in general over time our inflation rate uh, is going to come to some point where it also meets the natural rate of unemployment here um, so at over time you're just going to end up with this one thing and then you can have shocks there so there are some shocks that shift the curve and there are some shocks that move along the curve. Shocks that move along the curve are obviously shocks that affect specifically these two things, right? So if the inflate if there's a shock to the inflation rate for some reason, like someone dropped a you know a trillion dollars out of a helicopter, um, then you're going to move along the curve. Your inflation is going up, right? So you're going to move along the curve. If you have a shock to like supply, though, you're going to move the entire curve. Okay. So anyway, that's that's our that's our paint um, for now. <clears throat> yeah. So in in other words, um, Milton Friedman is neither based nor cringe. Um, that was a long way to say that, but there you go. <laughs> wrong okay hit me with it you want to come argue with me <laughs> you asked me about his academic um, okay look you asked me about his academic cringeness his academic okay <laughs> uh actually Actually, this is very interesting, right? Um, that is that is cringe, right? However, probably what's the case is that... Um, so, first of all, he is racist, right? That we... Okay, whatever. He's racist. We, we got that. Um, he's pro-segregation because he's racist. Okay. Probably his second motivation was that Honestly, probably segregation was good for the economy in the short run. Um, and probably, well, not probably, guaranteed it's bad in the long run. So even if you even if you ignore the amount of racism that this man had, um, which is a lot to say that, um, <laughs> it's still, like, he still had a, a bad economic read on it. So there you go. Yeah, that's cringe. That's mega cringe. In terms of the other academic things he did, natural rate of unemployment was a good one, and um, criticizing the Phillips curve as a as a long run model was also a good one. But yeah, segregation very cringe. <laughs> we uh, we do not stand segregation. Uh, let's, let's do some, some mercy boxing. <laughs> 